All right, guys, today is a very uh, cold, wet, and damp day. A uh, lot of uh, a lot of rain in the forecast. It's raining pretty good outside now, and it's cold. It's just above freezing. Uh, today, I'm going to give you an overview of a uh, Polaris uh, four-wheeler here. All right, so I did make a, a small purchase here for the farm. Uh, reason I say small purchase, uh, it didn't cost a whole lot uh, compared to uh, what the new ones are. Um, I've been looking for, about the last year, I've been looking for an ATV or a side-by-side -side for the farm. A um, couple reasons. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the farm here is so, <laughs> I don't want to say it's so spread out, but like I say, from here up to the, fields it's a mile drive and uh, some of the places you can't really get to to scout uh, crops unless you're on foot um, another reason why I wanted one and have been wanting one is uh, I want to mount a spot sprayer on the back here to take care of some of the uh, problem weeds um, that works pretty good I have used one of those in the past um, this is only the second four-wheeler that I've owned and um, this one here is functional. The last one I had was not really, I didn't own it long and it wasn't really worth a whole lot. I think it was an early 90s uh, four-wheeler that a guy gave me and needed a ton of work. And in the end, I didn't uh, get make any headway with it. And I ended up selling it for parts. It was just, it was junk basically. So I guess you could say this is my real first real four-wheeler. Um, I did want a side-by-side, -side, but uh, checking the markets and looking through the classifieds for the last year, I didn't find a decent one uh, under the four or five thousand dollar price range, and I did not want to spend more than five thousand dollars on a uh, four-wheeler or ATV. Um, this was uh, looks good, but it was uh, very affordable for how it looks. Um, I don't know how many miles is a lot for a four-wheeler. I really don't know. I don't have much experience with them. I think this one has 2,200 miles and 500 hours. If that, uh, you guys that have four-wheelers, you'd know better than I do. Um, I don't know if that's a lot or a little. I don't know ATVs. Uh, it is a Polaris. It's a 2003 um, Sportsman. It's a 400, but the cubic inch of the engine is like 425. Um, it, ha it is four-wheel drive, um, and it's a pretty smart four-wheel drive system, or so I'm told. I bought this from a dealer. Um, it's two-wheel drive unless you turn this switch on, and then it's like an on-demand four-wheel drive. It senses when the rear wheels slip, and it will transfer uh, or do something to make it four-wheel drive. I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, I've had this for quite a few days now, and I actually bought it last week, uh, but I didn't get it home because of the uh, bitter cold and the snowstorm, so I just left it sit till all that was done with, and I have it home a couple days now, and I have not driven it or used it a whole lot since it's home. I don't even think I put one mile on it since it's home, <laughs> so I should drive it and make sure everything's okay with it. Um, I bought it the day uh, after the dealer traded it. They traded it, they sold the guy a new one. I ended up uh, going the day after it was traded. They had it through the shop and they put a new drive belt on and serviced it, uh, changed all the fluids. Uh, this one is, a couple things I was looking for. I did want a four wheel drive. This one is uh, water liquid cooled. It does have a radiator and a fan. So that's a nice feature, that's one thing I wanted. Um, and also to sweeten the deal, I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark. It came with a Polaris. It's an OEM Polaris uh, snowplow. Um, this model here, I don't know much about it. Like I say, I took it off. It comes off so easy. Uh, you pull one pin and the lever and it just drops right off and you can back out of it. Uh, the winch is on this snowplow. It is just a rope uh, lift on the winch, but uh, seems like a pretty heavy rope and this plow isn't heavy at all I can pick the whole thing up and move it around now if it's uh, caked full of wet snow it might be a different story um, but yeah you just drive into it it's a quick uh, hookup uh, you plug in two wires attach your rope and uh, you're good to go <coughs> excuse me it has this uh, this is your lift up for the up and down it is a Polaris uh, 
Polaris uh, OEM plow and blade. Um, you can angle it, uh, but that's manual. It'll go up and down with the, the winch and then man manually you can pull that lever and turn it either way. The plow seems like it's in pretty good shape um, for the uh, for the age of the four-wheeler. Like I say, it is a 2003, so it's getting up there in age, but I guess it's fairly reasonable hours. Uh, the suspension, this suspension on this is insane when I went to look at it. Um, just show you kind of all of the components here. So you got the independent rear suspension. I, that's new to me also. Uh, it looks like it has a spring, coil spring, a shock absorber, and then it has this whole uh, arm system here. <laughs> like I say, it's all new to me. Um, it's uh, with the snow plow on it rides fairly nice with the plow off it's it's a little bit rougher uh it doesn't have the uh for the receiver hitch but it does have a place to put a ball or a hitch pin uh that's another thing i wanted to be able to put a uh, a little trailer on the back of this if i wanted to um so the uh, racks i was worried about that they were plastic i was old school uh wanted one with metal racks on it and uh to my surprise, I didn't know these are there's metal underneath. They are reinforced with metal, so and the plastic seems pretty strong. It's a pretty uh, beefy plastic. So uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, I did not want. To, hold on, let me come back with you. All right, somebody was just texting me. All right, I didn't want a uh, an ATV or any type of uh, four wheeler that was owned by uh, somebody that. Did trail riding or rock climbing or was wading through ponds or uh, driving up coal banks that wasn't I didn't want something like that I don't want somebody's uh, beater machine um, the dealer that uh, sold me this it was a uh, guy that had used it in the uh, in the neighboring town uh, to plow his driveway he had a longer driveway he used it for that and he also was a big hunter so uh, it was an older guy, so and <laughs> it's kind of one of those scenarios. He only drove it to church on Sunday type of deals, the way I could tell. Um, I think it's uh, fairly low use, even with the hours and the miles, because unless he put Polaris tires on, these are Polaris brand tires. These are the original tires yet. So there's a lot of life left in, the, in those tires, and here there's no macadam or road to drive on. It's just going to be on, in the dirt all the time. Uh, it has little things here that I think are neat. It has a little 12 volt, little 12 volt receptacle there to plug in. Um, it is green. I wish it was red. That would have sweetened the deal, but uh, it is a green one, and it does have the factory front and rear bumpers which was another thing that's nice a lot of the new ones don't come with that that's an option it's nice to have the steel bumpers if he needs to tie something off or pull something or however it is i still need to learn a little bit uh, this here is a uh, this button here will control the uh, speedometer you can cycle through your miles hours but it also is a reverse override i'm not 100 percent sure on what that even is um, of course it's fully automatic has the gear lever here high low and reverse with neutral in the middle uh, that goes kind of hard uh, it has an indicator up here that will tell you which gear you're in and find a neutral sometimes is a little bit difficult it's like a little bit sticky um, it does have a pull pull string there if uh, the starter gets weak um, I was looking through the owner's manual a little bit. It came with an owner's manual, so that was nice. Um, this, there's no clutch or anything. Uh, this is your brakes on this side. And when you pull that lever, it engages all four brakes. Um, so all four brakes are engaged. And then this one down here engages a rear brake, but it said an auxiliary brake. I don't know if the foot brake is different, a different braking system than the hand brake. Like I say, I don't know much about it yet. Um, I did watch the uh, YouTube video the review on the on these and it basically said that uh, it's a lot like they said it's a big it's a heavy machine it's like six six hundred pounds seven hundred pounds with the plow on with a smaller engine in it um, they said it's uh, a little bit <laughs> they compared it to a piece of farm equipment that it's uh, bulky and tough and I mean look at the suspension <laughs> and it was well built and they uh, 
the ATV critics were saying it was a little bit underpowered. Um, I don't think that I'm going to even notice it here for the farm, for farm use. Uh, just scouting crops, uh, picking rocks here or there, uh, driving around with the spot sprayer. Most of that kind of stuff you'll be in low range anyway. Um, but there it is. I figure I'd do a quick overview on it. Uh, another addition here to the, the fleet. Um, probably in the summertime it's going to get a lot of use. I'd like to have a little wagon or trailer I can put on the back of it um, if I have any loose bales out in the field. Uh, actually, what's probably going to happen with this little snowmobile trailer you guys are always looking at, that welder and everything's going to come off of that. And uh, I may use that little trailer for different odd jobs, moving stuff around. Um, just from the shop up to the house it's a it's enough of a walk from the shop up to the house and i keep my tools in my house so i gotta instead of walking back and forth 10 times during the day with uh, working like crazy now like i am and um with everything all the irons i have in the fire everything is time related so i gotta cut down on a lot of stuff but no I've been wanting one of these for a while and uh, got a great it was a great deal uh, really really did well even at a dealer um, they don't deal much with used ones they're more uh, trying to sell new ones the way it seems and uh, their turnover on used ones they they move them pretty fast uh, like I say they're they're more in the new into selling new ones so yeah, like I say, first one, I did a little research on it. I didn't research all the brands. I don't know much about four-wheelers or ATVs. Um, if it wasn't pouring down rain, I would probably take it for a ride uh, for you guys. But you'll see it in future videos, I'm sure. Uh, now making videos when I'm walking around different parts of the farm. Uh, I don't have to be sliding around in the mud with my truck or my car. I can take the ATV out, so... Uh, yeah, like I say, I think it did good on the price and I'm pretty happy with it. Like I say, any of you guys that have ATVs, I just don't know if you have one similar or, um, I, like I say, I don't know much about the mileage of two, 22, I think it's 2,200 miles and I don't think I put a mile on it yet. Um, all the plastic is in good shape. I don't see any, there's scratches. All the plastic is there and none of it's cracked. There is a rip in the seat and they have tape over it. That's fine for me here for the farm use. Um, I think the fuel tank holds five gallon of gas and it has a reserve, which is nice. And I can't tell if it's on or on reserve. I'll have to look at that. It looks like it's on the reserve right now. Like I say, I don't know much about it yet, so. Yeah, it starts right up. Uh, it idles nice. It's a big thing with ATVs. A lot of them have problems idling and starter problems, ones that I've dealt with. But uh, like I say, this is the first real one that I owned. Um, it does have an oil filter for the engine. That's nice. Um, and uh, for changing oil, it's always good to have a filter on an engine. Some don't. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, just a quick video today. You'll see more of it in, in uh, upcoming videos, I'm sure. Um, I don't feel like getting all wet outside in the cold. So, all right, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.